guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So someone commissioned a side table in warm colors with a specific technique. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to start by covering the table with just a thin layer of black. Um, I did prime and uh, paint this with red already, as well as sanded it. But this is still going to just help the paint flow. And I think I already said it, but this table is going to be warm colors. So I'm going to want to make sure that the design continues all around the edges, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing this technique of covering it first with the black. All right, and then we're going to be using warm colors, like I said mainly red and yellow but we'll also throw a little bit of gold in there and we are going to add some white as well this is a 16 ounce cup and i'm going to just probably be using the one cup and then putting black around the edges as needed so some gold in there and the technique we're going to be doing today is a wreck -a ring technique All right, here we go. Okay. So with the wreck ring technique, we just take a stick and we're going to make some fun lines in here. Try not to do it too systematically. Let me do one more over here. I think that's good. Now, like I said, I am going to take a little bit of black and put it around the edges. Don't worry about these lines because those will be run off anyways. Just to ensure we have plenty of paint here. All right, that should be good. And now the tilting process, which on something this size is a little bit difficult but we can do it. to worry about that last corner there but what I will do is I'm going to pick up some paint off the table and put that on there or actually I'm going to see what I have left in this cup because that might work too just sometimes it could be a little bright Okay, I think that will work. Awesome. Let's let that sit for a minute, let it settle, and then we'll come back and do our close-up. All right, so starting in the lower right-hand corner, this is where I added that additional paint, as you can see. 
Um, I love how this one continues around the sides. Just got some killer lines. I think this is uh, the perfect amount of yellow. I'm really, really happy with the colors that I chose. Um, so upper right hand corner, going over to the upper left hand corner here. Um, I'm happy that I didn't get too much pink on this one because that's always a bit of a worry on these <laughs> with red and white. So I'm just in love with this. At this stage, I'm going to let it fully, fully, fully dry. It takes a few weeks and then I will be sealing it with resin using Stone Coat Countertops uh, Countertop Epoxy. And then I will show you guys a final picture of it already in the client's home.